Hi, welcome to the first of the Ludum Dare uh, one shots. Uh, by one shots, this is basically me playing games people have submitted to me. Uh, this it'll be more first impression styles. So me going in, having a few games, basically saying what I think of it. You'll get the links to the to the games you can get hold of. Maybe the Twitter profiles of the people there, and uh, before you get to play the game. So the first entry that I'm going to play is Worm Haunter by Thorig, and looking at the entry, it looks very June style. Well, it, it's basically based off the the worms from June. And it says, Go hunt the great desert worm. Be warned, do not become the hunted. The war, the worm, <laughs> the worm, the worm is attracted to move, uh, the worm is attracted to movement and sound. Use your beacons to track and distract it, and strike when it isn't uh, vulnerable. Do not use your head. Controls are typical arrow keys or WASD. You can attack with the C or M keys. Throw a beacon with the X or N keys, and to dodge, you double click on one of the four directions. You have three beacons in total, and the world will attack at the position of the beacons or the player's position. So, this has been made by at small gaming, coded by at small gaming, uh, it's his Twitter handle, and at Dick Polian uh, for the graphics and music, and that's a uh, that will be put on the video so you can, um, you can follow them. So let's have a look. <clears throat> ah, damn it. Forgot to install the Unity uh, web player. Never mind. Do that now. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, folk. Nice big map. I wonder how far it goes. So, that's attack. Whoa. Attack. Whoa. Not even you need to use the. Oh dear. Take it, that's not a good thing. The uh, wind has started. Okay, managed to kill it. Uh, oh, okay. Do I keep playing until I die? Oh, I'm dead. Sometimes you get the worm and sometimes the worm gets you. Fair enough. Well, I did manage to beat it first time. Um, yeah, it's, it seems fairly easy to... Let's restart this and see if I, do this, if I can do this again without having to do any of the... any of the beacons. Right, so it's up now. Got an opportunity. Okay. Yeah, you can pretty much run away from the, the worm. And because it's not constantly following you, it makes it easy to kill the worm without having to... used beacons which makes it a bit easy 
but other than that, it's it's nice. It's it's, it's well presented. Uh, and you and understand in 48 hours that's something that, that might not be uh, possible to think of because, you know, got all the coding to do. But it is, it's uh, it's an interesting one, it's Worm Hunter, so good on you for that, guys. I enjoyed that one. Right, so the next entry is Diggable Planet by Oddly Shaped Pixels. says on the actual page it says if you don't have a mouse or mouse wheel play the post compo version right okay mm. so the galactic governor has spoken you are mankind's only hope find the artifact a small purple jelly bean um, buried deep beneath the surface of this unstable planet to give mankind a chance for a brighter future Hint, there will be several artifacts buried, buried on the planet, but only one will save mankind's future. It sure won't be the first, it may be the second, but it will definitely be the third one you found. Hint 2, if you don't succeed, don't give up. You can do it. Fighting the right artifact is worth a try. And to achieve your mission, you will have to manage your resources. Iron blue blocks and gold orange rocks in order to build machines that will help you find the artifacts. Uh, a digger allows you to drill and pick up resources. Careful, you don't want to drill the planet core. A radar, it will give you plenty, a pretty good view of what lies beneath the surface. A cooler, if the planet core becomes out of control, coolers help it maintaining a reasonable size all right okay a tower as you will see you're not welcomed by the planet's natives a tower will help you eliminate those who dare attack your machines when you don't need a machine anymore if you want to, a digger to stop digging you can destroy or sell it by positioning the mouse on it and left clicking <clears throat> If the machine hasn't got any damage, you'll be refunded half of its cost. Controls. The game only really plays with the mouse. Left click, build a machine or sell the current selected machine. Mouse reel, browse the, browse the four different machines, R to restart. Uh, after feedback, I made some alternative controls. Right, okay. Um, I'm just going to play the, not the post combo version, I'm going to play the original. Actually, no, I'll play the post compo version. Because if he's got some small bug corrections that I point out in the original, then that's not going to be overly fair. Alright, a non hip hop related interstellar treasure hunt for mankind's sake. Okay, left click to start. I'm left clicking. I'm left clicking and nothing's happening. Left click here. Come on. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do that. Let's try it again. That's better. Don't know why I didn't do it. Okay. Where do I go? So build there. Put a tower here. Tower there. Beneath the surface, and you're oh. oh, what the hell? 
I wasn't looking, I do apologise. Right, so, digger, radar, cooler here, tower there, no, tower there, ah, what am I doing wrong? Digger, tower, tower, you can read out. What the? What am I doing wrong? No. Digger. Cooler. Radar. Tower. Here. What am I doing wrong? Let's try it here. I think I dig too, uh, dug too much into the core, so I've got to be careful. Stick one here. So every time I get to a point where I can't go any further, I sell a machine. I'm going to put a tower out here. Dig there. Oh. Apologies, it's the wrong one. Dig it here. Dig it there. Okay. Dig it. No, can't put one there. Uh, tower, put one here, take it there, nope, there, nope, there, nope, there. Take these two off. <coughs> Shove a digger there. Uh, radar there. Digger here. Nope, can't put a digger there. Cooler. No cooler. Tower here. And one. So this one. Oh wait a minute, I think I know what the problem is. See, because I can't afford it. In that case, take that one off. Yes. 
That's what the problem was, I couldn't afford it. That's an interesting game. Um, quite like it. Once you get into it, it's quite good. So basically, for those of you who are playing this and just seeing what I've done, I'm still not sure. When I was first dying all the time, it was because I was drilling all the way to the core, and that's not a great thing. So it's yeah, it's quite strategic. Everything, yeah, I, I don't know what to, <laughs> don't know what else to say. I, I re do really enjoy that one. That's that's quite good. That one. I, I I I don't know why the other one didn't load up properly, but just for now and for those developers, I will open up the other one, the post compost, so that they both know that it's still okay. Uh, let's see if there's any if there's any Twitter information, I'll already put that on. Yeah, it was something to do with the machine, I wasn't sure what. Either way, that's the goal planet. And the last one for today is Super Land Shark Missile Attack by uh, Tourism. Is it Tourism? So, the synopsis is you are Super Land Shark with missiles. There's quite a bit of stuff missing due to the 48 hour, uh, hour time limit. But here's the crux of what you need to know. Space to jump. Hold down uh, hold down mouse button when in the air and aim the crosshair at people to fire homing missiles. You can swim up walls. Careful you could fall out of bounds from sideways gravity. You are invincible because shark. I think somebody was probably watching too much Sharknado. Um Okay, let's have a go at this one then. Okay, Wasad to motor, mouse to look, space to jump, hold left click for home missiles and bullet time while airborne. Right, flatland silos or tunnel. Flatland. Puny humans. So jump, jump, jump. Ah, that's where the right. Okay, homing missiles are. So jump. No. Jump. No, it's not doing the forward jump as well as the... Oh, it is now. Right, okay. Ah! Can't do the jump properly on this. Time attack over. Oh. Oh, well, at least it still lets you eat people. <laughs> uh, jump fire? No. I've got to do it at the same time. Hmm. Let's just double check. 
Space jump, hold down my spot when you yeah, aim the cross out at people to fire a home missiles. Let's try that again then. Jump, jump. Oh, I see. Okay. Right, so jump. Alright, so the homing missiles only go off once it hits. Uh, once the crosshair hits people. Alright, okay. Jump up. Eat some people on the way. Jump up. Hurry, missile time. Okay, I've got 14 seconds to do this in. Ten. Six. Four. Three. Okay, 56. Let's try silos. Ah, uh, what the hell? Are they firing things at me? Sixty-three, doing better this time. Seventy-two. Eighty-seven. <clears throat> 87 people. Right, so the last one, the tunnel. Let's see how many people I can kill this time. Who seem to be firing at me, but... Uh, I see what it is about the bullet timer when you jump it jumps and then really slows down not in terms of the not in terms of like frame rate or anything it's just because yeah it's just because he's doing the whole bullet time thing and it's, it's pretty good actually The uh, yeah, the ju jumping and the the jump and firing takes a bit of getting used to. But once you get it, you get it. So yeah, that's it. That's not a bad game either. Well, I'm not sure what Puny Humans is though.
Is there anything that I've missed? Um, I'll have one more go and see if the, I can pull the um oops. I'll have one more go and see if I can get something out of the puny human thing. Unless it's something that was gonna be put in and never did get put in because of the time. I am finding though that sometimes when you're aiming and firing it doesn't always let you even though you're hovering the mouse over the people that you're trying to kill. Yeah, only 47 this time. But yeah, that's a pretty good one. So that's it for now. You'll get another three games from Luden Dowry tomorrow. If you want your game to be showcased, then let me know. Drop me a, a, a tweet at this the Twitter handle. And I will see everybody else next time for the next video. Bye.